Cheers, friends, schools, goblins, pumpkin heads, and our lovely non-corporeals. Welcome to Fallout 4 Horror, where we are trying our best to get to the Whispering Hills mod uh, adventure with our girl Margaret. I'm the Bonsai Butterfly. I'm glad you're here. The last episode was chaos, absolute chaos, from Sanctuary Hills all the way. All the way. Uh-oh, I think some zombies are on their way to us. Let's, uh, let's get in first-person mode. We went all the way from Sanctuary Hills, and then we came to, uh, well, to Taffington Boathouse and walked here. We're at Slocum's Joe Corporate Headquarters, where I believe the folks who were, uh, who we slayed recently have come back to life. <laughs> but I think they're in that doorway, so... I'm not really all that worried about it. So let's go. We need to get a little closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd you come from? Huh? Yikes. Well, if it's going to be zombies, you know what we need. Zombie Slayer! Yeah. Boy, where did you come from? <laughs> 10 millimeter, ooh, 10 millimeter rounds, nice. We'll take all that. Um, cram, melon, sure, we'll take that stuff. Um, any more of you hanging around? Just, you know, chilling? Oh, yeah, yeah, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. Um,. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the of the shotties. I have a combat shotgun back at uh, Sanctuary Hells. So there's that. Those guys kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, did I actually search this place? I don't know that I did. Pack of smokes. Now, we did get two combat rifles up there. Uh, I don't use those, but we're going to sell them. Uh, we did get a really nice suppressed 45 caliber pipe pistol, which I think I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to modify it or, or, or somehow use that the modifications on it. Um, once we get back to any of my colonies, Probably Sanctuary Hells, but it could also be Dead Rocket. And, by the way, just so you're aware, at Red Rocket, I, um, we went to Diamond City, and there's the poor guy there who wants a Nuka Cola. Need a Nuka Cola, so I gave him one. And then I made him my friend. Yeah, I, t I did. I, I said, well, why don't you, uh, head to Dead Rocket, and then you can, uh, work for me there, friend. So he went. I don't know if he got there yet or not, but <clears throat> well, we'll see. Now, Dead Rocket is a very well-lit place. So hopefully he's there. Now we're coming up on, I think this is, is this Green Tech Genetics or... I do know that there are lots of zombies in this area. Yeah, oh. Yeah, you can see him, right? Right there. Right there, see? Look at him. Eyeless Nashers. Oh, well, there's one less. Here comes a roach. Which I'm gonna kill. <clears throat> oh, yeah, baby. Just make sure nothing's behind me. Oh, there is. What's this? Just so Oh, it's a, it's this weird stranger guy who always follows me. Who is this guy? Oh, hello there. You took that like a champ, pal. Hey. Get away from me.
Panic! You shooting at me, buddy? That's not right. You're not gonna make it very long, pal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gosh, here we go. Boom! Who's shooting at me? And why? Going down, pal. You gonna fire at me? Chef it up, buddy. Chef it up. He's a tough guy. He's got something coming after him now, though, so... Turn my light off. Maybe he's got something else to worry about now. Yeah. Get out of here. Wait a minute. This isn't the direction I want to go. One day I'd like to not get shot. Hey, me too, buddy. Me too. Who is this guy? Why can't I kill him? Gotcha, finally. God. Ooh, he's a... He was a dick. Excuse my French. <clears throat> wow. Just one lady I like to not get shot at. Well, I'm with you there, pal. Um, what the heck did you have? Brace... Ooh, yeah, I'm taking that chef hat. His name is Gruel. Oh, Gruel. Okay, I see how you are, buddy. Short guy, that's what he would shoot me with. Well, I'm taking it. Ah, uh, you can keep your meat. Yeah, you can keep your meat. That's why he was so hard. Let me check my stats. Ugh. All right, we're up. Good. Now, I have seen him in different forms, strangely enough. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? Yeah, he's a tough guy to beat. And he is a bad guy. And he will warn you off and tell you to leave. The thing was, his uh, his timing couldn't have been worse. Uh, I think he, he does show up when you do come up this way. Um, we left a trail of dead dead along the way. Take all your goodies. Right. And... Mmm, delicious. Okay, so, yeah, this place was full of uh, danger. That car blew up, and it didn't even kill the guy. Wow. All right, well... <laughs> on we go. <laughs> All righty, then. Let's take a look at the map, see where we are. We're just getting outside of town here. <clears throat> and I'm going to follow this road to this little circle right here. And we'll see what's going on there, okay? Whew, okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Thankfully, I took that perk, Lone Wanderer, and I took a lot less damage there than I could have. Oh, I know this place. This, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. 
No, this is where the Brotherhood of Steel got... Yeah, obliterated. Could be a bad place to be, right? Don't see much around here. All the power armor is going to be scuttled, so... I'm going to take that. <clears throat> his hollow tag and his laser rifle. I uh, can keep his BOS uniform because we like our dress. Right? Right. And there isn't much else here. If I'm doing Brotherhood of Steel, you want to find this guy, but I'm not doing Brotherhood of Steel. Ooh, radiation. Ra it's ra -A shot. Take that right away, because radiation, right? Now, can I get in this? I don't think I can pick this. No, no, I don't think you can. Uh, is there anything in there? 38 rounds. We'll take them. We will certainly take everything we can. All right, well. Ooh, he doesn't look too good. No. All right, let's continue. Let us go, let us send tomato. Oh. Click that vats every now and then, just to be safe. We are trying to get our way over to Dunwich Borers. I think I'm pretty close to being ready, and the sooner we get there, the better. because I believe there's more to it than just that, but I might be mistaken. And of course, it's the Halloween time of year where you really, really, really want to have some horror, right? And I'm an October person. I'm from, I'm from October. I'm, yes, I'm an October baby. Um, I think there's something in here. Yeah, there's a bone. Oh. Yeah. I believe there's a, um, well, let's just go in. I don't care what I believe. There's... Hi, buddy. <laughs> Come on in. What are you doing? Hmm? What have you been feeding him? Oh, look at that. Oh, down you go, pal. You got your dog with you? Because it looks like you got a dog. Yeah, there's a dog. Yeah, go away. Got more than one dog, huh? Woo! Oh, boy. Let's have a little drink of water. Yeah, bones. Bones are good. I'll take that. No, I don't want the uh, spike collar and all that stuff. Don't travel around with uh, dog meat. So, yeah, we'll take everything this guy's got. Or, well, everything he used to have got, but he doesn't have anymore. It's because he died. <laughs> Those with the bones and skulls. And, oh, lady fingers. Yeah, looks like he's been feeding his dog's people. Yeah, which isn't good. You know, it's not not wise. Bottle caps, huh? Then the steel spoon. We'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's a strong likelihood this gentleman will get back up. But she has done. <laughs> a strong likelihood that this gentleman will get up. And yeah. Yeah, but down he goes. Switch to the zombie slayer and, well, everything will go okay. Right. What do you got? 308 rounds. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, he did drop a gun right there, but it's um it's a hunting rifle and I'm not really all that interested. Now, let's check our stat. Uh good. 3 3 points left shy of what we need. Okay. Oh, oh. There's another one. Look, look. Hello. Hi. Are you friends with the guy I just killed? Oh. 
Do you wish to join him? Hmm? You do, don't you? Yeah. All right, 10 millimeter pistol rounds, caps. Nice, dinner fork, iguana bits. We'll take all that. I see some hub flowers. We're gonna take those too. All right, this is the traffic circle where we, uh, we wanted to get here. I'm gonna make sure we go in the right direction here in a minute, but I wanna grab up uh, as many of these as I can. Check the map. Yeah, we're heading in the right direction. I kind of want to head this way and then down. I could head down now toward country crossing or county crossing. Um, also, um, there's the training ground here. Uh, yeah, I want to get to a location we can kind of chill for a while. Now the slog, I might want to go to the slog. Um, let's see. The slog is like right here ish. Kind of on our way. So we get to this crossroads here. We're going to head up in that direction. Because we are, of course, heading toward Dunwich Borers. That is where we need to go. And I don't know about you guys, but back in my day, and I'm going to date myself a little bit. But in October, flies weren't a thing. Yeah, you never had flies in October. It's just not a thing. Especially this deep into October, right? But now, nowadays, um, as the ecologist will tell you, flies are still a thing in October. And we used to have jokes about it. You're as slow as an October fly, <laughs> right? Hey, buddy, you're about as slow as an October fly. Which was an insult, and nobody realizes that now. Now I guess it's you're as slow as a November or December fly. I don't know. It's a little, uh, a little sad to remember that uh, global warming is having an effect on the insect life on this planet. Just so you know. And being a student of ecology as I am, I'm very much aware of that sort of thing. Ooh, sting wings. Ooh, I don't really like sting wings. Yeah, not a fan. They're really hard to hit. Let's get out over reliable. They are really hard to hit with vats even. So let's take a look at the map where we are. Okay. <clears throat> we need to turn. I don't think that's a road. Yeah, I think we have to go up to this road. Well, I'm gonna go off road a little bit. No do have to be careful here because there are also in this area um, giant scorpions which are no fun at all and usually I see them up on that hill but right now it looks like it's just sting wings and they're very perceptive little creatures and they can find you sneaky sneaky so just gonna go sneaky sneaky past them down the road <laughs> there we go okay yeah so I was saying about flies because I have flies in my house no I have a cat that likes to go in and out onto the porch right she's allowed to do that um, and I leave the door open in October thinking ah you know, flies, they're not a problem. Well, guess what? They are still a problem. The flies came in the house. I was like, what? It's the middle of October as I'm recording this. It's cold outside and still flies. What? So, just so you know. I'm done with my fly rant. <laughs> fly rant. I think we're on the... Yeah, we're on this road here. So... Let's head up toward the slog. I really think that there's some stuff down here to do, and between episodes to level up, I might just do that. But for now, let's get to where we need to go. Now, the slog will send us off on something, too. I'm not sure, but we do have Preston. Preston hasn't sent us here, but We'll see how it goes. We will see. We will see. I'm really kind of worried. When you start getting out to this eastern part of the map, things start getting a little bit mm, 
disconcerting, scary. And other world could come at any time, so I'm kind of trying to look at the terrain as I'm going. Get an idea of where I can retreat to. Like, can I jump up on a car? Can I get up on some rocks? Is there a nice, nice log somewhere to run away to? Oh, 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 look, it's a bunch of friends. Let's get Zombie Slayer out. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. Look at it. He doesn't look too bad, does he? Put that like a champ, buddy. Boy. Yeah, he took quite a number of shots. This little... Because he, he's a blue one. The blue ones are hard to kill. The red ones, not so much. down he goes now um, look around those were not suppressed fire so uh, something might be coming Ooh, a kickball yeah we can use that at Taffington I want to throw kickballs basketballs all over the place down there so you know, it's a, it's a sports theme. Sports and outdoor activities. Like fishing. So I have fish buckets all over the place there. You know, that kind of thing. It's sort of nautical theme. <laughs> now Maggie, our beloved heroine Margaret here, would like to go to Coastal Cottage. Because that... She loves the beach. She just loves the beach, right? And, and she would love to basically, when all is said and done, get to Coastal Cottage, chill out at the beach, you know? That kind of thing. All right. So, now, let's see where we are. Yeah, we definitely want to go down this way. Uh, we should run right into... A couple of places actually. There's um, there's Green Top Nursery, uh, which has a couple of people in it. Oh, here's the slog. I believe we've got to where we need to be. Let's see what's here. I have no idea. This is my first time at this. I think this is the slog. Um. Mm. Maybe not. Oh no, I know what this is. This is the ironworks, Saugus. Ironworks. The slog should be down over here somewhere. Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, we just procked on that. <laughs> nice. I have no idea what's here. Oh, looks like uh, some friendly ghoul friends. Are you Wiseman? <clears throat> Welcome to the slog. Hey, buddy. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? That's cool, man. It's pretty clever, making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. Yeah. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City. Really? Until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Oh, cool, man. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you've done well, but you were thrown out. Yeah, Mayor McDonough threw them all out. It looks like you've done well for yourselves. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we could do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? Oh, that's together? awesome, dude, yeah. We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting. Okay. With smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. And noses. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Yeah. Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Well, I know you're not monsters. Um, can I help? 
Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tarberries without traders. And trade caravans need safe roads. Right. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. Oh. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. I can do that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Where are they? Do you know where they're coming from? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's good. We just got an assignment. Uh, let's check that. Um, Breakheart Banks. Yes. Yes, that's where they are. So I'm going to put that up. Uh, the Road to Freedom. No. We did that. Um, let's check the map. Now, that's just up the road. We kind of went by it a little bit. As we came down in this area. So, yeah, we can get them. We can do it. But first, I want to make grape mentad, so I want tarberries. Hopefully I'm not stealing them. These guys will get all mad and angry. No, 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 no. Ah, stop it. No. Ew. Don't drink it. Silly git. <laughs> Yuck. Let's have a little sip of that. Mm, good tarberries, yum. So we could set this place up as somewhere we could hang out. Now everything else is set to steal in this place, so you want to be careful, right? Uh, but I think the carrots are doing pretty well too. They got carrots and they got all kinds of. is the most successful farm in the Commonwealth. Yeah. I hope that fat mayor in Diamond City hears about it. I think I you are you sell stuff, don't you? Fool for throwing all the ghouls yeah, out you look like city. a gal who could use some fresh supplies. Yeah. What do you say? Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. <clears throat> what you got? You got you have like eight caps. <laughs> you got eight caps. Oh man. Well, you know what? Let's buy all your tar berries. Yeah, let's buy that. I'm gonna buy your mood fruit and your carrot, and I would like to buy all of your 45 rounds. To at least give you something. Um, I'm gonna give you those. Those. Automatic laser pistol. I don't really need that. That can go. Um, combat rifle's too rich for your blood. But, you can buy it. So. Um, I have another one back at the home front. Yeah, there you go. Plus 17, huh? How much is that? Ah, yeah, nuka grenade, short combat rifle. See, there's that. That I really don't know why I kept this, but <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right. It's kind of cool. Plus 50 percent, plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. The problem is it only does 30 damage, and it's a three crank laser musket. So, what a piece of junk. Yeah, what a piece of junk. Uh, how much you want for? You can have that. You can't have my wedding rings. You can't have those. No, I want that. <laughs> I want those things. What is that Nuka Cherry? Right. Done. Good. We Thank you, baby. Better than the people who condemn us. That's the only way we're going. Yeah, you're, yeah, I hear you. You're a ghoul. Right? You're a ghoul. But so, there you go. Alright, there's nowhere to sleep here. There's nowhere to stay here. But, we are ever closer to our goal. Let's take a look at the map real quick. You can see Dunwich Burrows is just across the way. Now, there is an abomination here. Um, but, I think we should probably head up in the next episode we're going to go to Breakheart Banks and kill all those guys loot that place up come back here and we'll be able to set up the workshop here and have a bed close to Dunwich which means that's a good deal yeah that's a good deal but um that's it for this episode guys it was been an eventful little wander um pretty dangerous but we made it and the only thing we have to do now is kill a bunch of crazy super mutants, which isn't hard at all. We can do that, can't we? We sure can.
I hope you're enjoying watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, that means an awful lot to me. I've been the Bonsai Butterfly. You guys are creepy. Well, no, you're not creepy. You're really nice, but in the spirit of Halloween, you're kind of, okay, um, horrible. <laughs> no, no, you're not horrible. No, I can't say, you can't say anything positive. Well, okay, anyway. Cheers, friends.